Okay, I have a confession to make. I've been a little bit naughty all this time. All my examples have been too nice and were sure to work because I was avoiding this issue, a negative coefficient. None of my examples had negative coefficients before. Now we have a problem. Houston, we have a problem. Houston, we have a very serious problem. Can we do something like x cubed minus 3x plus 2 divided by x plus 2? That's negative coefficients. Can we handle that? Oh, well, first of all, can we at least draw what our answer is meant to be? Can we at least draw x cubed minus 3x plus 2? So x cubes, x squareds, x's and 1's. 1x cubed. There are no x squareds up there. I guess I want 3 anti-x's. 3 anti-x's and 2. And 2. Alright, so that's what we've got. That's our answer. And the question is, look for groups of this, which would be 1x and 2 1's. 1 dot next to 2 dots in this picture. And right now I want to weep. I don't see any one dot next to two dots. I mean, there's one dot there and two dots over there, but they're too far apart. They need to be next to each other. I don't know what to do. What can we do? Any ideas? Well, some ideas that people have, like uh, they look at this dot way over here. It seems somewhat isolated. Can we sort of bring the dot over here? Can we do some of those unexplosions? For example, can I replace one dot here with ten dots there? One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Get rid of that. At least gets me close and keep doing that. Well, that would be fine if you were told this really was in base ten. The trouble is, we don't know what base we're in. We're in some weird base x, x, x squared, x cubed, which means I don't actually know how many dots to draw there. I can't draw 10 dots there unless I was told, no, no, please think of x being 10. But I wasn't told that. I don't know what to do. I can't, I can't unexplode that dot. Great idea, just turned out not to be helpful. Oh, any other ideas?